Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2018. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or a company name together with your Fusion 360 email to autodeskcommunityphilippines at gmail.com. Hi everyone and welcome to July monthly challenge for Fusion 360. For this challenge, I will project a line from here going down and from this point going to the right. And from that intersection, we will place our origin. Heading back to Fusion. And if you're wondering where my grid is, I disabled my layout grid. Same with snap to grid and incremental move. Let's now enter sketch mode and hitting R for rectangle. So now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. Let's select our XZ plane. Let's drop our first corner here at the origin. So left click, moving here, left click once more. Let's hit S to grab our shortcuts and typing ARC. Let's select three point arc, selecting this point and this point moving to the right. So notice the tangent inferred constraint, left click, hitting escape. Let's turn this vertical line into a construction line. Let's hit D for dimension. Hitting escape and reselecting this arc once more. The radius to be 18. Selecting this vertical line and our center point. Moving up. Left click here. Key in 24. My sketch entities turned into black, meaning they are fully constrained. From here, we can hit E for extrude, head to home view. Prompted to select a profile, selecting this profile, pulling our arrow up, and key in 14 for the height. Hitting OK. Next, let's create this feature. So orbiting by holding our shift and middle mouse, selecting this face, right click, and select create sketch. Let's now hit L for line, create a line from this corner. Moving up, let's give this a value of 12, hitting enter. Reselect our line, right click, and apply a vertical constraint. Next. Grabbing our line once more, left click here, and left click at this corner, hitting escape, hitting D for dimension, selecting this vertical line and this endpoint, move up, left click here, key in 13. Our sketch is now fully constrained, hitting E for extrude, selecting this profile, let's go to home view. Pull our arrow to the right. Let's change our extent to object. Left click our arrow and locate this point. Left click. Operation join and hit OK. The purpose of two object is whenever we update, for example, our dimension, which is 24, let's Make this 30 as I hit enter and select stop sketch. Our second extrusion will adjust to this point. Hitting undo and selecting stop sketch. Let's now move on creating the feature on this area. Let's select this face, right click and create another sketch. Hit L for line. Let's create a line from this corner. Moving somewhere here. And move to the right. Left click here. So notice I did not commit to the suggested midpoint constraint. Hitting escape. 
Let's now turn this line to be horizontal. So selecting that line, right click and selecting horizontal. Let's grab our dimension, hitting D, selecting the stop edge, selecting this horizontal line, moving to the right, left click here, key in 12. In this instance, I discovered a mistake. The height from this edge going to this edge should be 21 so I can select stop sketch head back to our previous sketch double left click change the dimension to 21 hitting enter selecting stop sketch let's move back to our current sketch double left click Heading back to front view and hitting D for dimension, selecting this horizontal line. Left click here, key in 14. It's now fully constrained. We can now hit E for extrude, selecting this profile, moving our arrow to the right. So notice when our extrusion touches the body, it automatically turns into a cut operation. In this scenario, we can also change our extent to object. Left click this arrow and left click this point. So 36 minus 13 is equal to 23. Operation cut and hit OK. There are many ways to create this challenge. You have seen my style. Curious to know how did you go about by solving this challenge? Post your works in Fusion 360 Gallery and our Facebook page. Congratulations for completing the Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge for July. Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge is sponsored by WSP Philippines. WSP is a world leader in providing management and consultancy services to the built and natural environment. Learn more from WSP on how they utilize building information modeling in their awesome projects on the first BIM conference in the Philippines happening on the 15th and 16th of September. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge.